Tina was the owner of two residential houses. On 1st, 5th April 2022, she deposited one of the houses and utilized it. Disposed one of the houses. Rendi vita irukku. One vita vithittu. Utilize the entire sale process to construct the first floor. In the amount of the end up and rang na. Idhil a first floor cut to the use pandra. On her second house. Which was completed by 15th March 2023. She seeks your advice. As to the taxability of the transaction to capital. Gain something. One unit second unit. This is a unit house. Of course, for that also section 54 will be applicable. This is also applicable. Right. Next. Next question. Mr. C purchased residential house property on July 20, 2020. July 20, 2020. Okay. 4 rupees 10 lakhs, 4 rupees 10 lakhs and made some addition to the house incurring 2 lakhs in August 2020. He sold the house property in April 2022 for rupees 20 lakhs. Out of the sale process, he spent 5 lakhs to purchase another house property in September 2022. What is the amount of capital gain taxable? This is general Sandha. Come on, join Panne Sale consideration being? Sale consideration being 20 lakhs minus index to cost of acquisition. Current inflation index 331 divided by base inflation index 2021 index. Okay, this is short term. In the date, the sale the date less than 2 years. This is short term capital gain. Short term capital gain is indexation. Cost of acquisition being 10 lakhs. Cost of improvement being 2 lakhs. So, 8 lakhs being short term capital gain. What about the deduction under section 54? Section 54 deduction is applicable only for the uh, agree land industrial undertake. Rent is not applicable, so applicable. The entire 8 lakhs will be taxable only. 